more cops exposed racist text messages. They, they are still dealing with the public. Put it at full mass. Two more San Jose police officers have been exposed in racist text messages, a scandal we brought to you initially. Two more San Jose cops associated with the racist text scandal involving this guy, Mark McNamara, have been publicly identified. I'm going to give you the information. Local outlet KTVU was able to gather their names from unredacted documents. Probably somebody made an intentional error there and did not redact the name properly. Per their report, one of them, Brandon LaTempler, not pictured, remains at the department, but is currently on paid administrative leave. William Haggerty, pictured here, was employed at the agency for three years from 2017 to 2020. So um, McNamara resigned from the department following the discovery of racist text. He decided to send these racist messages to other cops. Why? Because they were down with it, that's why. The discovery occurred because of the excessive force lawsuit against him for when he shot Kuan Green, a black college athlete outside a Mexican restaurant four times in 2022. He, according to his report, mistook Green for an armed suspect. When in reality, Green was a hero who disarmed the actual gunman. Following the incident, that cop used racial slurs. Referring to Green, stating, quote, I hate black people. Now, I want you to think about this. Keep the picture up for a second. His racism and bigotry runs so deep that a man who likely saved lives, a man that he shot who was innocent, he hates this man and refers to his hate by proxy of his color, the color of his skin. I hate black people. Other exposed text shows the former cop used offensive language, even decided to threaten the attorney of the shot, Mr. Green, a Dante Pointer. The victim filed his lawsuit against the ex cop and the city of San Jose last year, rightfully so. McNamara officially lost his certification in November. However, KTVU reported that Lot Templer and Haggerty, who are accused of exchanging messages along with McNamara about the shooting, are not prohibited, not prohibited from working for other departments. According to the report, Haggerty was sworn in as an officer in Minnesota two years ago, but stepped down in November, days after the scandal made. Headlines, we're going to make headlines again. In one message obtained by KTVU, Haggerty allegedly texted McNamara about Green's defense team saying, quote, why don't black people have any sense in their head? End quote. It's unclear if all the messages made by Lot by Lot Templer and Haggerty have been released. I'll put up the picture for mass. Here we go. Angel Alexander. A lawyer who also represents Green stressed the importance of transparency regarding officers, especially those demonstrating racial bias. Quote, if people had contact with these officers, they need to know whether that contact was done with any type of underlying racial bias or animus. If you have hatred for the community that you're serving, it's a public safety Issue, end quote, drop mic, exit stage left. More racist and homophobic messages from McNamara came to light earlier this year. Text messages, these texts, quote, these texts are not just offensive. They speak to the vile nature of how the officer viewed Mr. Khan, Mr. Green, and uh, the night he nearly killed him. As just another black man who was denied for a life of poverty and who was destined, excuse me, for a life of poverty and crime. 
uh, point is in, per K-R-O-N-4. Uh, so uh, Mr. Green was a college student, had never been convicted of a crime, um, doing very well for his life, and also was a hero that night. Last week, officials announced they were investigating cases that this cop, McNamara, was involved in. And more than 50 of them could potentially be tossed out. Santa Clara DA Jeff Rosen told the local news, there were at least five low level narcotic cases where, quote, we could not proceed because we'd have to rely upon the testimony of the cop. And we're unwilling to do that because we take very seriously the racism that he expressed. And I said this when we first, first covered it. I think the brass, meaning the leadership of their justice system, I think they know more than what we know. Because they basically put out this proclamation that said, hey, listen, if this cop um, led to your conviction, you need to come back and holler at us because you probably are worthy of an appeal. That is rare in law enforcement to have leadership come on and say, defense attorneys, public defenders, come to us if this cop was involved in the case. That tells me they know way more than what has been exposed. All right, Ben, thoughts here. It is so disconcerting to see that people still have to deal with such deep ingrained systemic racism in the organization that is supposed to protect people. And it goes so deep that incredibly, insanely, beyond this man's hate, after he got in trouble for shooting a black man erroneously and inappropriately, he then texts, I hate black people. Even if you did, that's the time you would be texting, I love black people, to try to cover yeah. up yeah. for what you did. So the fact that his hate runs so deep, he still couldn't help but express his hate when facing the wrath of his horrible racist actions speaks all the volumes you need. Yep, yep. And the irony is, what really got him, Ben, is that he decided to text the attorney and told the attorney, I'll shoot you too. And the attorney <laughs> turned in the text messages and that created the, the, the whirlwind you see today. All right, uh, we will bring you- The only updates. good thing, Doc, the only lucky thing here is that so often people with evil criminal hearts are very stupid and they uh, end right. up making their own bed. I mean, yeah, that part.